A plain mirror consists of a thin glass plate with a silvered surface on one side and a protective layer on the other surface. The loss of reflection. Reflection process can be demonstrated as shown in the diagram where we have an incident ray, the normal and the reflected ray. The angle between the normal and the incident ray is the angle of incidence while the angle between the reflected ray and the normal is the angle of reflection. From this, we get the following laws of reflection. One, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. This can be proved geometrically through measurements. Incidence equals the angle of reflection. Two, the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal at the point of incidence all lie on the same plane. Image formation and properties. The image formed by plane mirror, images formed by plane mirror are upright. These images are virtual to mean that, that they cannot be focused on the screen. The images are laterally inverted. The image distance is equals to object distance. That means that the distance from the object to the mirror is equal to the distance from the mirror to the image. And the image height is also equal to the object height. This shows that magnification in a plane mirror is always one. Images formed by mirrors at an angle. The number of images 
will always increase when the angle between two mirrors is reduced. So the number of images formed is inversely proportional to the angle between two mirrors. Mathematically, the number of images is given by the 360 divided by the angle between the mirrors, then we subtract 1. In this case, theta is the angle between the mirrors. For example, if the angle or if the mirrors are inclined at an angle of 120 degrees, it means that theta will be equal to 120 degrees and the number of images formed will be 360 divided by 120 minus 1, which gives us two images. So two images are formed when mirrors are inclined at an angle of 120 degrees. We also note that if mirrors are parallel, then theta is equal to 0 degrees, and therefore, the number of images formed is 360 over 0 degrees minus 1, which is infinite. So infinite number of images are formed. And further images appear fainter due to absorption on li of light on reflection. Rotation of plane mirrors. If the direction of the incident ray is not changed, the angle of rotation, theta r, is, uh, of the reflected ray is twice the angle of rotation of the mirror. So in this case, theta r is the angle of rotation of the refracted ray, while theta m is the angle of rotation of the mirror. Example, a ray of light is incident at an angle of 30 degrees to the mirror positioned along the line M1. As shown in the figure below, by what angle should the mirror be rotated about zero? to the position M2 for the reflected ray to pass along M1. Solution. In this case, theta R is equivalent to 30 degrees, while theta M is what we have been asked to find. So theta M is equals to theta R divided by 2 which is 30 degrees divided by 2, and that gives us 15 degrees. So the required angle is 15 degrees.